Hi, welcome to Selling Antiques. This is our new control panel, so we'd love to share with you some of the new features that we've been working behind the scenes for you. Namely, a new slick interface that works on any device. Uh, so we can ensure that updating your stock is as simple as possible, as we've always strived for. So let's jump in and see the changes. First thing, is the new uh, login page. Let's go. So here we've got the new dashboard, new home page. Looks very similar to the old version. We've got our big blocks, main blocks here, the quick links. We've got our emails, we've got our our, our info, the impressions, clicks, display limit. We've got a, a graph now to show how how far up we are on our display limit. This is an image that we've uploaded for our profile. This is this is displayed in our profile on the, the mini website on Selling Antiques. So we use we use the same image in here. Um, our receipts. This this is very similar to the current. Um, system. I guess one of the big differences is now we've got this working on any device really well. So you can see that as we get our as our display gets smaller, we're probably on an iPad now. Probably an iPad there. An iPad on um, portrait. A large phone and then we got on basic foam so it's really really easy to use any device you wish to update your stock on selling antiques we've put so much work into this because it's really important that you can update with any device you have available so let's have a look now at some more changes we had some links in here before to the certificate page uh, we decided it was probably best just to have this area for your stock and also the website this has been completely reworked these everything here is super super simple now uh, the websites that we offer now are you, you could not get simpler we hope you like that we'll, we'll have another video for the website so let's have a look at some other changes. So those links that were in here, we've now popped those in here. Uh, item invoices, PDF brochures, we've got a few updates coming up to these as well. So this is all the, the previous links that were down here. Each page has obviously been reworked. Every page has been reworked. Uh, we had to do this to ensure that it fits with every screen and we've got our new apps app coming up pretty soon as well Android and iOS this is another pull out menu here available on any page any page that you're on you can see immediately you can immediately log out new items not approved receipts exchange rate so all this but the room is display here this is a this, this is a graph here so and we can jump straight into our dealer editor profile page here so that's quite nice. That's that works very nicely. So let's look at some more changes. Uh, we've redone this search bar here. So this is very similar to the Selling Antiques site, main site. We can now search for an item, and we have the item coming up in here. That works quite nicely. So we can instantly jump into a um, an item. We've got three new buttons. We had, I think, it was five buttons on the old admin. We don't need so many buttons. Main buttons are view my stock, add stock, and mark stock as sold. These are our main buttons. 
let's go into this one and let's view our stock this is our stock list we can go list view or we can go icon view easy to select items back to list view it records what you what selection you have made this one here mark items as sold that's quite nice we'll go into how that works in a minute add add an antique I declare the item about to load yep and then add an antique so the antique edit page is very very similar nothing nothing different on this one images of here so the image is now on the right side rather than the left side and the image is on the right side because it matches selling antiques so you're seeing a better representation on what is on selling antiques not much really changed here we've got way of selecting fields height width depth and reference so that's quite nice you can see easily see a field that you're working on okay so let's have a look now at the marking let's look at marking stock sold this is really important so we need a quick way of marking items as sold so let's say we've got we've sold this item this first item here so all test data so, sorry about the images so we're going to mark this item here as sold whereas before we'd had the drop down this new system works very well because when we reduce to a mobile phone size we're not reliant on the drop down for every item so this new system works as in YouTube as in uh, Gmail what we're basically doing is selecting items here and then we're performing an action on the selected items so we need to select our items first and then perform an action so this action is mark items as sold so if I click this we've selected three now so if I mark as sold are you sure you wish to mark three items as sold now if I click that button they'll be marked as sold it is simple as that but the joy with this is that if we go to a mobile you can see now our list is getting smaller and smaller so we can easily mark items as sold on a mobile phone mark as sold um, bring us back back out again to the, the, the PC that I'm working on so that's quite nice so let's go into a little bit more of a detail on this new system here so let's go into our list here so you can see why we've used this because what it's doing is it's saving the drop-down menu system here that we had on the previous admin and why that's important is because if we now bring us back to an iPad bring us right back to a mobile phone you can see now if we had the drop-down lists in each one of these it gets very cluttered and very difficult to manage which is why this is the best way of working with a admin because what we do is we select our items in here and then we perform an action so we can see we can mark these items that we've selected as sold we can mark these items we've selected as reserved we can mark these items as selected as for sale or we can simply delete them but let's now bring us back to our main width screen okay so in any uh, action that you you take now you can be searching for items as well and that will bring up the same list Every, all these 
um, links here use the same method. If we scroll up, you can see we've still got our buttons in here. So they never disappear off the page. They're always present. Really important that. Especially for, for mobile. We want to make it as simple as possible to use. So let's say we want to mark these for sale. So I'm going to click that. Are you sure you want to mark these five items for sale? If I click that, they're for sale. If I click that one, mark as reserved. And that will mark them as reserved. Or I can click this one and that will mark them as sold. So there's a very, very simple way of um, working on items to make sure the status is what, what you wish. So let's now, let's say we want to delete these items. So we can delete these five items as well, if we prefer to do that. So if I, let's, let's actually go to delete an item and see what will happen there. So let's delete, let's delete this one. So we select the item and then we click delete. Yes, delete items, delete items. And now you can see here that item has been deleted. So that all works really well. So if we look in here, we can see the similar thing we've got for sale. We've got our sort by. We've got our icons or list view, but we've got a similar. We've got a similar uh, menu bar here. Everything is, is a similar system waiting. Sold, reserved, not approved. So once we get used to this new concept of the way of changing status you can see managing your site could not be easier we click on any item and we're, we're straight into the edit page it's very easy to upload multiple images they, they all would pop into here it's not possible to make an order order these images because on the website the order of the image is not randomly worked out but it's it's not based on the order it's based on the uh, size of the image the width and height so we can easily override those but but you know how this works that hasn't changed a similar similar system so that works quite well back into our home page we can jump into any one of these and we go straight straight into the the item Let's have a look at some of these changes in here. Most of this is, is very similar. My profile. Again, we've got the images now on the right. This is our profile team image, which appears in here. Invoice logo. About us, WhatsApp. This is all similar items as before. Emails very similar just now we can view emails on any device all fits perfectly which is nice we've got uh, receipts Let's click on any one of these receipts testimonials customer testimonial page this is a new editor we've got in here now that works quite well. Got our widgets that we had before. Very similar. Create item invoice. You select the item, create invoice. We have the item here now. We've got all the various stages to creating the invoice. That's quite nice. A PDF brochure. So again, you just select the items, create and personalize. You can see how many items for create and personalize. We've got our items that we've selected in here, and we can personalize those and download our brochure. So we'll, we'll have in a future update, you can uh, add an email address in here, and the brochure will be sent. That'd be quite nice.
and print certificates very similar just click one of these and that will print that will give you a PDF uh, visitor stats set impressions search my stock quite nice terms and conditions and my profile and that is it that will that will manage your membership on selling antiques we hope you liked the video and we're always looking to improve and we look forward to hearing your comments and most importantly we hope you enjoy this new update that we've worked so hard on thank you for watching